Okay, so the outline output line goes through this uh, check valve here. Okay, and the check valve is the same on the uh, regular Smack Booster. Is um, when the thing cools down, it's supposed to prevent um, any uh, backflow from the bubbler water. Okay, down in the bubbler water here. Okay, there you see your your uh, gas outputting to the bubbler there. Okay, and um, I've got it hooked up to this output tube here, which goes to my new and improved measuring device. This is exactly I measured this out um, with the graduated cylinder at 1.050 liters. Okay, fully submerged to fully uh, fully evacuated is 1.05 liters. Okay, um, so let's look at some of the parameters here. All right, get this thing back on. Right now, as you can see, we're running about 48 amps. Okay, and this is at 14 volts. Not, no, it's actually 13.5, 13.6 is what these battery chargers put out. It's about 13 and a half volts. 48 amps, it, uh, it'll go up to 50 here fairly shortly in, in a few minutes, okay? Um, so this is not 12 volts right now. At 12 volts, that, that current drops down significantly more into the low 30s, okay? Um, but the good news is, because it's plugged in, you're thinking, well, you know, it's not going to be any good if you're only running 30 amps. Um, but this is the AC side, okay? My kilowatt's telling me that I'm only drawing uh, nine and a quarter amps, okay? Now, the gen set that I plan to hook this up with as the next uh, iteration in this whole testing uh, procedure, okay? The next step is to hook, to put the gen set in the back of the Ranger and plug this thing into the gen set. Now, the gen set that I have is capable of running well over 20 amps. So currently, the way I have this set up right now, um, the gen set will more than easily supply the uh, power demands from uh, this new um, cell setup, okay? So, but that's later on down the road. But these are some of the parameters I'm looking at, okay? Um, it, you know, that's in the future. Also, since it's drawing, it's getting right up there. 50 amps, we could put a se second alternator on that Ranger and get that to spin up 50 amps, okay? So, uh, we can actually, we may not need the, the gen set. The gen set uh, it's just going to be a, a, a testing procedure, but I'm thinking that we're going to be able to, um, uh, you know, pretty much ax these battery chargers and just use a high output alternator uh, installed in place of the uh, air conditioner um, that does the compressor that doesn't exist on that truck. The bracket's there, but the truck didn't come with air conditioning. Okay, so, all right, so 13 and a half volts. We're up to 40, and I told you it's going to climb up a little bit. Okay. But the good news is, now what you haven't seen is, I've been running this cell all all afternoon. Um, Spank and I set the concentration there a couple hours ago, okay? So I've been letting this thing crank at uh, at 50 amps, okay, for a couple hours. And this is what I want to show you, okay? Another one of my, I, I just love this tool, it's so convenient, okay? So we're going to shoot it. Okay? 29 degrees, okay? That's, uh... Fahrenheit, that's 84 degrees, okay? It's been running like this at 13 and a half volts, 50 amps, okay? For for at least a couple hours. I, this is not a time test, okay? I'm not running a, uh, a proof of concept um, test for you guys right now. I'm just showing you, this is, you know, just showing you some of the parameters, some of the characteristics. The, the exact testing numbers will be coming, okay? But right now, this is just for observation, okay? A couple hours probably, maybe closer to three, 20. 27, 28 degrees Celsius, okay? I mean, that's, for me, that's unheard of, putting that much current through, and it uh, depends, I can find hot spots here, as you can see, I'm, I'm kind of tooling around trying to show you guys some of the hot, there's, you know, it changes a little bit, okay? I think it depends on where in the bath I'm pointing it, if it's closer to the center of the cell or not. It's real hard to, but you guys get the general idea, I mean, see from the top, it even shows being cooler. Okay, but you guys, you get the general idea. This is a cool running cell. Man, this thing is it's super efficient. And the reason is because of the partitionings that prevent uh, current leakage between the cells, okay? So uh, let's run a quick uh, liter per minute test on this thing. 13 and a half volts. Um, I don't have a voltmeter hooked up. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, but, I mean, most of you guys, you can take my word for it. I mean, here's the IOTA charger. I mean, um, unless you put it on a quick charge, which it's not, see that connection is not made. For those of you guys that are familiar with this battery charge, unless you put it on a quick charge, it's putting out 
13.6 volts, okay? And obviously there's your, your, you know, your proof right there. There We're hitting our 50 amps now, like, just like I said we would in a few minutes. Okay, so let's, uh, let's time how long it takes. All I got to do basically in this deal here is I just uh, plug this and I keep the, the water levels equal, okay, so that there's no difference in pressure to skew the readings. Um, and I just time how long it takes. So uh, start now, okay? So we try to keep the two water levels about even. Okay. There's 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 seconds. Okay. So that comes up to what? What do we got here? 1.05 divided by 18 seconds times 60. So right now we're doing three and a half liters a minute at 50 amps, 13 and a half volts. Okay, now this is not the I actually was based on this is basically right here this equal equivalent surface area um, as I was discussing in my other videos. Um, each uh, each cell stack in here is about four smack boosters. There's six of them, so that's there's 24 smack boosters in here equivalently. Okay, so I'm like, yeah, we're gonna get 20 liters of rain out of there. It's just like having 24 smack units. Here's the issue, the thing that I forgot. Let's go back to this. Okay, smack boosters run uh, when they're fully he heated up after a few hours. Okay, they're they're running anywhere from um, 180 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay? Look at this guy. 29 Celsius. Right? 85 degrees. Okay? The thing that I forgot to uh, put into my calculation is that this thing runs way cooler. Uh, um, some of the a portion of the output gas of a smack booster when it's at temperature is water vapor. I've, you know, I, I, I obviously I know this. I've openly... Not like I have to admit it, but I've, I've stated that. I've, I've acknowledged the fact that there is some water vapor coming out of the smack booster. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you right now, there's a whole hell of a lot less water coming out of the top of this cell. It's nowhere near boiling. 